Do you ever look at kids' shoes and think, I wonder what that would look like in adult sizing? No, I'm not talking about how they make Jordan 1s in grade school and toddlers. I'm talking about when they make a shoe specifically for toddlers or grade school, and then you think, what would that look like in a size 9 in adult? Well, to my eyes at least, Nike did just that and released the Nike React Presto in the lava lamp colorway. Now, don't get me wrong, it doesn't mean I don't like this shoe. I bought it, I'm gonna wear it, I'm talking about it. But I really think it's like they got some little kids together and said, design a shoe, and then they made it for big kids, like me. Just look at the colors on this shoe. It's got a volt yellow, a bright almost volt orange, a bright sky blue, a even greener volt green volt yellow color, white, hits of 3M, and then an almost electric Gatorade yellow on the laces. Everything about this shoe to me screams funky. Look at the design, it shouldn't make sense. It's another sock-like shoe on the top made out of mesh, sitting on a midsole made out of Nike's React cushioning. The React technology on the outsole of the shoe is predominantly white, with rubber hits underneath the ball of your feet towards the toe box area, and on the back of the shoe underneath the heel, you find translucent volt orange rubber, as well as that sky blue painted on the React, and then a hit of green yellow slime rubber on the React as well. There is a cage on this shoe, much like the Presto Silhouette, and this is made out of a somewhat translucent white rubber with hits of that volt orange around the eyelets. And on the lateral side of the shoe, you find an orange Nike swoosh, and on the medial side of the shoe, embossed into the cage, you see the Presto branding with a little mini swoosh. Your laces are predominantly white with that electric volt yellow hits throughout as well as on the aglets or lace tips. And as mentioned before, your upper is that volt yellow mesh throughout the front portion of the shoe with a neoprene-like material making up the middle and back of the shoe and the tongue. On the top of the tongue towards the middle, you find a pseudo faux suede blue material that acts as another part of the lacing system. And this same color and material can be found on the back of the shoe near the heel, where you also find your heel tab and five circular hits of that volt orange. That volt orange can also be found on your removable midsole and stamped on it underneath the heel is the aforementioned lava lamp where the shoe takes its name. I was at my local favorite sneaker boutique, Kickin' It ATX at the Domain, and that day I was actually just looking for something bright, something loud, something summery, something 90s, 80-ish, maybe some would call an Easter egg type shoe. And lo and behold, there it was, right there. I don't know how many people are gonna like this colorway, much less this silhouette. But they have different colorways in this silhouette, so if you like it but just don't like this particular colorway, take a look at Nike and you can find this silhouette in many different colorways being released this week. The Nike Presto React retails for 120 US American dollars and it is available online and at foot stores wherever you find feet, shoes for your feet, stores. When it comes to fit, I ordered a size nine, which is my true to size and this feels just fine. I didn't see a need to go up half a size or go down half a size. Since you will find this shoe pretty much at most foot stores, you can go in, try it on and see which shoe fits you the best. So what do you think about this silhouette and what do you think about the lava lamp colorway? I don't know why I look at this shoe and think Legos, Scandinavian, Swedish, I don't know. It looks like a big kid's shoe. I love it, I love it. I actually wish they released this in a grade school shoe because you know I would buy it for my daughter and we would twin it up like father, like daughter. Let me know in the comments down below what you think about the silhouette and maybe which one of the colorways might be your favorite. And to all of you out there, wherever you are, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and just chill to the next episode.